Universal Huntress, presented by Remington. Jen and I got this phone call from a South African named Emmanuel Cap, And he was asking us to come on a safari with him. Of course, he talked to Jen first. To meet up and be filmed by a man that we'd never even met. Jen is my jump at the spur of the moment, crazy business partner. Narissa being a little bit more cautious and not trusting of people. And so when she told me, I said, absolutely no way are we going to Africa. <laughs> okay, we're heading out this morning at Rhino Land Safaris and pretty excited about the hunt. I think Narissa and I were both a little bit nervous about the first safari, coming to a place where we didn't know anyone and really we had no idea what to expect. We are <clears throat> looking for either a zebra, water buck, or possibly, hold on, now I forgot. One of the things that I've noticed the most about Marius as a PH is how considerate he is. Knowing that we're newer hunters and we've never been around these type of animals or this type of hunting, he's very patient with us, teaching us and talking to us, putting up with 20 questions from us women. <laughs> When people come to Africa for the first time, you've got to be very careful how you handle them and how you present them to the animals. Now, the all, all straight on the, on the leg, uh -huh. and then one third from the bottom. One third from the bottom. From the bottom. Okay. And I think, you know, you've got to do a little more work on getting them comfortable shooting first, and they'll grow as the safari go. They'll grow in confidence, and they'll just do better. And it's been really great to be able to have that experience. And this time we were able to bring Morgan along and let her experience that too. <laughs> I was pitching the sun. Dang, dang. Our friend Morgan Mills, she's a new upcoming country music star. She's kind of got our same style. She likes, you know, a lot of the California things, but she's got the country twang in her. And so, you know, we hit it off last year. We're the bad together. We're the bad together. <laughs> we're bad like, girl team. We like, we think we're in a comedy show. And introduce, you know, some, some of our friends and people that we've met along the way and bring them along on a couple safaris with us and she is the first girl to do that. Once we start going, we can't stop. <laughs> we were driving looking for Jen's kudu and all of a sudden a rhino come charging at us and uh, we all jumped and screamed and it was Hilarious after the fact, but it was pretty scary for the moment. Of course, I ducked and jumped. <laughs> and there was a bunch of elephants, and they actually roadblocked us. So, of course, I'm the big chicken one. And seeing all those elephants made me really scared because I was waiting for them to charge us. So, I would definitely say that the kudu was my favorite. Jen Adams is a country girl, with her cowboy boots plowing through the unknown. The Spitfire pistol of the Guns duo, she's loud, rowdy, fearless, and the life of the party. But don't let her fool you. She has the business sense of girls with guns. She can chomp the numbers as good as she does her chew. She is the first to lead the team out of a plane, off of a bridge, or any leap of faith that comes their way. Nerissa Harmon, 
She is the mama of the group, the sensitive one who appreciates the beauty of life. She's had to fight for everything she has ever had, and because of that, her character is as strong as Oak. Though a little more reserved, she is still the creative heart of the Girls With Guns duo. She will be the first to question anything outside of her comfort zone, but don't get her wrong. Her faith is strong, and she too, with a little convincing, steps out into the wild journey. Emmanuel Cap, better known as Cappy, has had many hunting excursions all over the world, filming nature and culture. Cappy is the experienced leader of the ladies. He is a wild spirit and full of humor, just waiting for the next opportunity to make everyone laugh out in the field. He's patient enough to wait for the girls while they put their makeup on, strong enough to guide them through the unknown, and creative enough to capture unique beauty in everything behind a lens. Together, they are Universal Huntress. Are you sure? <laughs> I've sure. never gotten emotional with an animal. It makes me emotional thinking about it. <laughs> and it just made me, it was just awesome. He was so majestic and we were able to get out there and stalk him. And so when it came to the kudu, I just dropped him with one shot and it was just an amazing feeling. <laughs> Give me the gun. No way. Give me the gun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it happened so fast. Good shot. So, <laughs> I don't even know. We just pulled up and we jumped out and Mario said we had I had like 30 seconds to shoot. Yeah. And it just happened. It happened so fast. It was. They just came right across us. I wasn't even really expecting it. Mm -mm. That's kind of how the, all the animals have been here in Africa. My first kudu at Rhino Land Safaris in South Africa. I'm really excited. He's a beautiful trophy, um, about 15 years old. And um, we were actually out looking for water buck, and they ran across our paths, and we snuck out after him, shot him. A, about 150 yards. We've really been learning um, it, where the good kill shots are because these animals seem to die a little bit harder here. And I had a good one. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. I wasn't sure at first. They uh, it definitely, he took off just a little ways and we walked in and found him not too far from where I shot him. So I was pretty excited. Um, lots of emotions. It's been just an awesome journey that we've had. Proud of yourself. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Love it. Yeah. Good job. I think one of the coolest parts about our show and what we're gonna do that's gonna be different is the journey. We're always gonna be doing something different, something exciting. That's us, that's who we are. <laughs> we're small, small town girls. <laughs> so, they you know. Knew. Who would have ever thought that we'd have the opportunity to hunt here in Africa? To be able to grow and to see other things and experience different things in the world. Isn't it's fresh? So this one is kind of fresh. <laughs> 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 and be able to show it to our audience yeah. is huge. Aww. Hi, little guy. One of our adventures here at Rhino Land Safari, one of the first ones, really almost traumatized us all. We came up on the dam where we thought that we could probably get across. About two weeks before our planned trip to South Africa, we got word from our friends at Rhinoland that there was massive flooding in the Limpopo province. And the floods have just changed everything. The roads are just washed away, and there isn't a whole lot of compacted sand, especially because we're the first hunters at camp this year. We uh, had our land cruiser just to travel in the African plains, and there had been some flooding in Limpopo, and all the rivers were severely over flooding. And Marius, our PH, said uh, he's a little adventurous. 
we thought that we could probably get across. There was a lot of rocks and it looked pretty safe. Marius said, you know, I think we can cross this. We need to get to the other side. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. Let's see if we can do it this time. I was too busy having fun, standing up, watching it. I, I thought we were going to be fine. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> the back of the Land Cruiser started to sink into the rock. Water started to fill up in the Land Cruiser. And all of a sudden, which Marius is a jokester, and he's hardly serious, but all of a sudden it switched. Get out, get your things, and get out of the Land Cruiser. <laughs> we had to go to the other side. Uh, the area is cut in two by Wild River, and uh, we got stuck. Next thing we know, we are almost on our side. We grabbed everything and jumped out. We made it barely in time, and luckily there was one tree that was just close enough to get the winch to. Trackers ran, they wrapped the winch around the trees, and we were luckily able to pull the Land Cruiser out. It looked real dramatic, but it wasn't too dramatic. <laughs> barely made it out of that one. And that was the beginning of our adventure here at Rhino Land. <laughs> What's over there, Morgan? I see zebras. And woo! To the back of us, I almost fell out. Checkers. That could have wanted to be yours. <laughs> that my name is Narissa. I can shoot today. See there. Yay. You see it? You see it. <laughs> well done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mr. PH. Good. No, he's you're good. <laughs> he's dead. This was not easy, huh? No. No. It was difficult. It was a difficult. This was We saw him this morning and we came back and we got in this. So beautiful. Good. Good, good, good. good. Be strong. I know, I know, I know, I know. Camera. I gotta think camera. Let's I'll go camera, camera make action. Up. Hair, makeup. <laughs> I got that, I got that in, no, I didn't bring it this time. Damn it. It's okay. Hey. I think I was more, I'm more excited in so many emotions mm. just because. Yeah. Everything back. I got it back. You got it hey. back. We have to learn if you haven't missed. <laughs> yeah. Then you this haven't hunted very hunting, much. Hunting is, you know. Yeah. Good. Good deal. 
Okay. I feel good now. You did good. I feel good. Yes, it's going on the mount. <laughs> okay. okay. We came upon this kudu here, and um, of course, you see, I took him, so pretty excited. Perfect shot. It was a good shot. It is. And, uh, you know, girls get so excited about everything, and that's how I feel right now. I'm energetic, I'm excited, I feel like I want to throw up. <laughs> Just so many emotions, and um, I've learned so much about myself here at uh, Africa, and I could probably get a little emotional thinking yeah, about it, yeah, but you know, I'm, yeah, I'm happy, and I'm we're hunting, and we're learning, and we're growing, and uh, it's all about the journey, so I'm pretty excited about it. Congratulations. Thanks. You did good. Thanks. Good shot. Good shot. So, uh, difficult, bushy, yeah. but good shot. Yeah. We decided to do something different. We went hot air ballooning, something I've never done. And actually, I believe for me, it was a little bit more, what's the right word? Actually, it was, I was a little more nervous. <laughs> we got up at 3 a.m. After traveling all day, it's really cold. <laughs> We've been traveling for 45 minutes. We napped a little bit. Uh, nurse is in hiding. <laughs> and she's not a snuggler, but she's letting me almost lay on top of her. I guess I was a little bit more nervous about this one. You know, just floating in a balloon, um, going through the air, the baskets, it was unstable. You know, they're powering it with fire, and I just remember the guy yelling and all the commotion as you're getting ready and you're climbing in this basket that's three feet up in the air and just not really knowing what to expect. Girls freezing their buns. <laughs> It was a really cool experience, you know, completely different from hunting. You had a lot of the photographic safari people that were coming in. Of course, Nerissa and I are thinking, you know, how great it was to get to see the game at a different angle. So this morning we are in Sun City in Africa, and it's kind of the Vegas version of Africa. Mm -hmm. And we're hot air ballooning today, as you can see. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at this view, it's so amazing. It feels like we're just floating on clouds. trying to pick out the animals and what they were. Uh, we saw a hyena, and that was our first time ever. That was really amazing. We also had the blue wildebeest, which we haven't seen yet, and it was called a gnu in African. And we've seen some white rhinos this morning, so, so far so good. We're starting off pretty good. Brought my Swarovskis, too. Yeah. <laughs> Um, another thing that was a little bit scary and maybe fun too, when we went down to land, uh, we saw a black rhino. It's really unusual in South Africa. It's a treat if you get to see a black rhino because they are so rare. The only thing about this black rhino was he was right where we were supposed to land. <laughs> so we had to take the hot air balloon up and we had to go about half a mile further down. You know, So as you land, you're kind of looking around wondering because those are the aggressive of the rhino species. But when we got there, you know, all the trucks surrounded us and they brought out a table and champagne and we were able to just sit there and enjoy it with our new friends. That was beautiful. It was a really pretty morning, actually. It was really actually good. pretty amazing because we got to see all the game and then going back to Rhino Land Safaris next. Yeah. We're going to have some champagne right now. Oh my gosh, look at that's the setup. Mm. Let's go. Oh my We're spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Okay, yeah. ladies first. Yeah. You want it straight? Yeah. Okay. With a little bit of orange juice. With a little bit of orange juice. You have to taste it before the orange oh. juice, then you can add it. Okay. That's what you call mimosa with a little bit of orange juice. Here we go. How do you want? Sweet or dry? 
but it's this yeah, a good one, yeah. South African champagne. That is, yeah, way better than in the States. <laughs> oh my God. I think everything's better here. Yeah. We're moving. Pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Give the girls first. Yeah. Oh. What? So I need, need a picture, this not it? Oh, okay. That's a good picture. Here we go. Okay, guys. Cheers. Everybody. Cheers. To Cappy. Cheers. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> Gappy is happy? I'm a girly girl. So am I. But most of the time, I'm, I'm just, just a girl, girl with a gun. Different? Is that a snake? What is that? If a freaking thing slithers right up next to me, I'm going to freaking throw a rock.